It's important to understand, though, that this is an experience that has been described from all over the world, sometimes from children less than three years old, who have no idea about life, death, the afterlife, religious questions, and they all describe the same thing. I had a small child who told me that when I died, I experienced a bright lamp. So they used children's terminology, and he drew a picture of it with a lamp, and he said, when you die, you're connected by a cord. To hey guys, welcome back to Mystery Truth. Well, today we'll be looking at life after death. Scientists explains what actually happens when you die a world-renowned doctor has revealed to the world that it is like to die and says the process is peaceful and pleasant dr sam pania director of critical care and resuscitation research at nyu langon school of medicine in new york city said dying is very comfortable and the doctor said people who have had a near-death experience sometimes describe encounters with diseased relatives but insist the sensation is not evidence of the afterlife regarding the physical process dr panya told a recent OZ talk, death is a process that is not a black and white moment. The final result is we have a deduction of oxygen that gets inside the brain when we are about to die and that causes our brain to circuit, that causes our brain circuits to shut down and we become unconscious to the outside world when the heart stops all life processes go out because there is no blood getting to the brain to the kidneys and liver and we become lifeless and motionless and that is the time that thoughts used to give us a time of death but the doctor who has authored several studies and books on the subject of death said there is a mental process which has left survivors of near-death experience longing for death again dr pania who has brought thousands of patients back from the brink said when we die that experience is not unpleasant for the vast majority of people for those of us who die naturally even if we we are in pain before we die the process of death becomes very comfortable it is very blissful peaceful people describe a sensation of bright warm welcoming light that draws people towards it they describe a sensation of experiencing their diseased relatives almost as if they have come to welcome them they often say that they didn't want to come back to life in many cases it is so comfortable and it is like a magnet that draws them that they don't want to come back a lot of people describes a sensation of separating from themselves and watching doctors and nurses working on them however dr pania says there are scientific explanation for this reaction and says seeing people is not evidence of the afterlife but more likely the brain just scanning itself as a survival technique he said he said thanks to modern technology and science Death does not have to be limited to philosophy and religion, but it can be explored through science. So guys, that is it and you've all heard what they said. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification bell icon. See you in my next video.